it is happening. Just behind me, Logger's Leap second lift hill is coming down, down, down. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome to yet another Project Exodus update. I'm very, very excited for today's update because I'm not sure if it's today, but at some point very soon, the Logger's Leap second drop is due to be coming down. And yeah, I'm here today on the off chance that it might be happening. If not, then you might not be watching this footage at all. Yeah, I don't even know what episode number we're on at this point, but uh, be sure to subscribe to lock in um, because at some point soon, this double drop is coming down, hopefully today. Yeah, there's only one way to find out. Let's head inside. It is happening. Just behind me, Logger's Leap second lift hill is coming down. You might be wondering, Jack, why have you got such a big smile on your face? This is a, a piece of theme park history. If I'm honest, I'm being a little bit selfish right now. <laughs> Not tomorrow, but the day after. I'm actually going away for a week and I was so, so scared that I was gonna miss this thing coming down entirely, but I made it, I made it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see the whole thing because this is gonna be a bit of a long process. It's definitely not gonna come down in like a day or two like Creek Creek Massacre did. It's gonna be more of a long process um, over like a week or two maybe. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to capture the entire process of it coming down. If I wasn't going all the way to America, I would have canceled my trip. I would have been there every single day. But uh, it's quite a big trip, like we're going over to LA. So I can't just cancel it that last minute. But I'm so grateful that I'm at least able to witness a little piece of this theme park history. And of course, as soon as I get back from this trip, I'll be straight back on site. But yeah, the deconstruction of Logger's second lift deal has started. Let's get a closer look. Just whilst the workers are taking a little break, it gives me a great chance to give you guys a closer look and uh, it allows me to explain just what is actually happening um, with the deconstruction of Logger's second lift hill. Look at that, oh my God. So yeah, as I said, this is not gonna be a quick one or two day job like um, Creek Creek Massacre and a lot of the other buildings in this area were. This is gonna take around a week or maybe even two um, to fully come down. So if you watched my previous um, Exodus updates, you will have seen when I filmed them taking out this little section after this big drop and when it kind of meandered around um, just the edge of Old Town and then went back into the station. Obviously, when they were taking that out, they took out the main fiberglass of the trough first and they then just kind of left this metal shell which they were then able to take out and they had to like angle grind down um, before they could then remove it. Essentially, with this big drop, it's pretty similar, but obviously a little bit more complex because first of all, when you go down this massive drop, you of course go into like a splash zone and that splash zone was actually made up of concrete walls. So just last week, I managed to capture them actually taking away this concrete and like getting rid of this section right here. Um, because of course where I'm standing literally now is where the loggers trough used to be. And yeah, it used to have these concrete walls going down both sides um, where you would obviously get wet at the bottom of the drop. So now that that concrete has fully been removed, they've now started on removing once again, the fiberglass from the trough. And yeah, literally within the past few hours, they've managed to do this entire right side of the trough. Um, and I imagine they're gonna start on this little bit after their little break, um, if not tomorrow. And then yeah, once again, they'll be left with like this metal um, shell, um, which they'll be able to then take out. However, of course, it's a little bit harder to take out when it is, um, what, like 60, 70 foot up in the air compared to the little bit that was literally just sitting in the lake over there. So I imagine they're gonna have to get a crane in um, to get rid of that. And of course that obviously adds to the time scale of uh, taking this all down. And of course the fact that it is sandwiched between a public footpath 
just on the other side of this metal fence um, and a lake. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to take down. And I imagine that's probably why they've left it till last. It's like the last big bit of deconstruction to happen in this area before it's literally just completely flat. And at that point, as I said, they can start filling in the lake and the coaster can start going up. But yeah, you get a really good look at just how this uh, double drop looks without all of the fiberglass. And all of the fiberglass, they've just kind of stacked up over there. Wow, it really, really is amazing. Very sad, but uh, I'm very honored to see it in this state. So it's about quarter past four now, and a lot of the workers are finishing up for the day um, and heading off. So I'm also gonna do the same, but I'm gonna come back tomorrow and film as much of the rest of this coming down as possible before I of course head off on my trip. I think I'd rather do it that way than like release part one with today's footage and part two with tomorrow's. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna come back tomorrow morning and add all of that footage onto this video. So I'll see you in about 16 hours. <laughs> So back again for day number two. However, just before I even head into the site itself, if you guys have been watching these Exodus updates since the very start, you will know that in that very first episode, I obviously showed this white construction wall outside of the uh, construction zone from what used to be Old Town. And I've always said that they've left these little white bits on either end of this construction board. And eventually there would be some graphics up there to do with the uh, construction and the ride itself. Well, I'm happy to say that finally, these graphics are being added. It's literally just started down this end. The other one is already done. I'm not gonna show you it just because I don't know when the park I wanted to put it out, but yeah, very exciting. And hopefully you guys will be able to see that very soon. If not, when the park opens next month. But yeah, happy days. Those graphics are finally going up. But yeah, I'm gonna head into the site and see what's been going on with Logger's Leap's second lift. So, here we are, day number two. As you can see behind me, already, and it's still quite early in the morning, so much more of Logger's has come down. I said they'd be speedy with it, um, or at least getting rid of the fiberglass, and boy, oh boy, I was not wrong. At this point, pretty much the entirety of that double down drop has been like stripped away and we've pretty much just got that metal shell. Oh my God, I don't know if I was picking up on this camera, but the amount of sparks coming off of this is insane. I'm very much gonna have to keep my distance today, but wow. Oh my God. Another ride that I'd very much recommend riding in 2023 is Samurai over there, which is currently testing. Honestly, the views you'll get from Saw, Samurai, and even Colossus of this area are gonna be insane. I think I might be headed to Saw the ride first this year though. I'm currently stood in the very middle of the site where just behind me, the old Logger's Leap station is actually having all of its like rubble grinded down. Essentially this digger is basically taking all of like the big boulders and rocks and putting them into this machine. Again, unfortunately I'm not very well uh, versed in construction sites. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below what this machine is called, but it's basically just grinding down all of these rocks um, and then creating this big old pile of small little rubble um, just in the middle of Old Town. Just underneath the loggers lift hill, as you can see, there's currently some workers um, kind of huddled around. They're actually doing some tree clearing. So they're just getting rid of uh, some of the bigger trees that are in this area. I guess that's so that they then have a bit more access down the side of Loggers Leap um, for when eventually I imagine they'll have to get a lot of construction vehicles and maybe even a crane to get down the majority of this lift hill. Um, but just as I'm saying this, the main guy that's actually doing the grinding on Logger's lift hill, there he is, 
um, is walking off. So I might go and take my chance to get a closer look at the lift hill and the progress that they've made today so far, because as I said, it just looks so bare now. So yeah, he's obviously taking a little break. I'm gonna go and get a closer look. So just as I was getting a closer look, the main guy uh, cutting it actually came back and I ended up having a chat with him and his uh, colleague. And they are honestly the nicest people. They were telling me that these guys are the same people that actually cut down Nemesis up at Wharton Towers literally a few months ago. And they also built rides like Shambhala over at Porto Ventura. And I think they're gonna be working on like actually putting up Exodus when that time comes as well. So yeah, honestly, they are so lovely. And the stories they were telling me were so funny. But yeah, now I'm currently stood in a very strange place. I feel like genuinely very, very few people ever have stood where I'm standing right now on this side of Logger's Leap's second drop. Like the lake is literally just next to me down there. Um, and yeah, just looking up now is completely different. Like look how bare the drop is. It's absolutely insane. I'm honestly so sad that I'm going away tomorrow. Like I should be really excited for my big holiday over to LA, but I'm not. I want to be here and experience every single day that this gets taken down but i think i'll be all right because i'm away for a week i get back and they're saying that it's going to take a good amount of time like although it's gone really quick these first few days like look at the size of it it's not going to come down quick so honestly guys the second i'm back from my holiday i'll be straight back to the park i'll be straight from Heathrow to the park believe me and i'll update you with whatever progress we've had um and yeah We'll have to see what state it's in. Who knows, it might still be standing. Um, currently, there's some electricians just getting rid of some wiring over on this uh, platform 15 fence so that they can get rid of some of the panels. Again, just so that they have access um, down this side of Logger's Leap so they can get a crane and construction vehicles in ready to take it down. Genuinely though, I'm just stood here taking it all in before I leave for a week. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm honestly one of the luckiest people in the world, not only to be stood here today, but to have witnessed everything that I've already witnessed and be able to capture it all for you guys. I'm a very, very lucky person. And yeah, I'm gonna keep on working hard to document this entire process so that in the future we can look back and uh, remember just how exciting the construction project for the UK's tallest roller coaster was. Really happy right now. It's time to say goodbye to Logger's Leap. Look at that. All of the workers are currently on lunch, so I'm just taking this time to come to the bottom of this drop and properly say my goodbyes to, in my opinion, the best log flume to ever be in this country. Obviously, this ride opened in 1989. Countless people have ridden it over the years. It's created so many memories, so many happy smiles. And today is my last time ever seeing it in this state. Genuinely got a tear in my eye. <laughs> as I said, I'll be back in a week. So I'll literally update you guys as soon as I get back on site, there'll be a video. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when that is uploaded. But yeah, for now, it's a goodbye to Logger's Leap. One of the most iconic rides to ever be at Fort Park. Goodbye, loggers. See you later, everyone. Goodbye.